Hello. Greatest common factor. GCF. Find the greatest common factor of two numbers or more. First, what is meant by GCF or greatest common factor? The greatest common factor or GCF is the greatest factor that is common between two numbers or more. It can also be called highest common factor or HCF. So GCF or HCF mean the same thing. Now, today we are going to learn the easiest way to find the GCF using the ladder method. Find GCF of 24 and 18. Now, I will show you a very easy way to find the GCF for 24 and 18. You will write the 24 and 18 beside each other like this. Then you will make a big L like this. Okay. Then, you ask yourself, what is the prime number between 24 and 18 that can be divided in both of them? Starting from 2. So, 2. Can we divide both of these numbers by 2? Yes, we can. So, we write here 2. Now, 24 divided by 2 is 12. I will write the answer here. And 18 divided by 2 is 9. And I will write the answer here. Now, I will make another L like this. The same question we repeated. What is the number that is common between 12 and 9 that I can divide both of them by this number? Can I divide both of them by 2? No, I cannot. Can I divide both of them by 3? Yes, I can. So I will write here 3. Now divide. 12 divided by 3 is 4. I will write the answer down here. And 9 divided by 3 is 3. I will write the answer down here. Now make another L. 4 and 3. What is the prime number that is common between 4 and 3? Can we divide both of them by 2? No. By 3? Also no. So the only number that is common is 1. So once I reach the 1, I will stop here and I will make a big L like this. Okay. Now I will take the numbers that is in on this side of the L. 2, 3 and 1. And this is the GCF. GCF are, is these numbers multiplied by each other. So 2 times 3 times 1. And this is equal to 6. So the GCF or the HCF of 24 and 18 is 6. Okay? So this is called the ladder method. I'll take another example for three numbers, 27, 18, and 54 by the same ladder method. Okay, let's apply it here. We will put 27 and beside it 18 and beside it 54 and make a big L like this. Start from 2. Prime numbers start also only uh, always from 2. So can we divide three numbers of these by 2? No, of course, because 27 is not divisible by 2. So we'll take 3 and 3 will do it. So 27. 27 divided by 3 is 9. 18 divided by 3 is 6. 54 divided by 3 is 17. Okay, if you can divide. So if you can't divide, you can make a long division here. 54 divided by 3. 5 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. Subtract 5 minus 3 is 2. Get down the 4. Oh, 24 divided by 3 is 8. So I'm sorry, it was 8 here. So it is 18. 54 divided by 3 is 18. And 8 times 3 is 24 and no remainder. So this is the three numbers. Now again make an L. 9, 6 and 18. What are the three what are these three numbers divide, divisible by? Can be divided by 3 again. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. And 18 divided by 3 is 6. Okay. Now 3, 2 and 6. All these three numbers, can they be divided by the same number? Of course not. So it's only, can also, can only be divided by 1. And I will make I will close the L like this and I will take these three numbers. So the greatest common factor here will be 3 times 3 
and times 1, which is equal to 9. And this is the greatest common factor of these three numbers. Now, the normal way for making the GCF, not the ladder way, is called the prime factorization way. Okay, the prime factorization will look like this. I will put the 36 here in a circle and 24 here in another circle. Then we prime factorize each number. 36 is equal to 2 times times what? Times 18. Okay, 2 times 18, and 18 is equal to 2 multiplied by 9. Okay, 2 is the prime factor, so I will stop here for the 2, and I'll stop here also for the 2. Okay, 2 times 9. 9 is 3 times 3. Okay, so once I reach a prime factor, I do not continue. Stop here. So 36 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. What about 24? Is equal to 2 times 12. So I stop here for 2. And 12 is 2 times 6. I stop here for 2 also. And 6 is 2 times 3. And I'll stop here for 2 and 3. Now, to find the GCF, we will find, we want to find a number that is here in this prime factorization and at the same time it's also here in, the, in this prime factorization for example this 2 can we find an alternate 2 here yes on the other side we have to so we'll take only one of them and we'll cancel both of them so we'll take only 2 now here we have 2 another 2 so we'll take another 2 so we can take another 2 so we'll cancel both of them and we'll take only one of them. Okay, now 3 and 3. So I'll take one of the 3s and I put it here. Here we have 3 and we have here 2, so nothing of them will be taken. So 4 times 3 is 12 and this is the greatest common factor. Okay, let us check this. Is 36 divisible by 12? Yes, because 12 times 3 is 36. Is 24 divisible by 12? Yes, because 12 times 2 is 24. And 12 is the greatest common factor between these two numbers, 36 and 24. So, hope you understand. And please kindly subscribe and like my video. To the next video. Bye.